so let's talk about the KH deployment. So if you have a, a Kubernetes cluster where you're deploying it in your on-premises, right? Um, so Druid provides uh, Docker images for containerized deployment and, and you could leverage that um, to create your own um, Kubernetes deployment objects. Um, so like for example, um, deployments and, uh, and stateful sets um, and, and things like that. Um, on top of that, Imply as a company, we provide a product called Imply Manager. Um, it is uh, it it provides an easy way for you to deploy and manage a containerized Druid cluster, and you can manage n number of containerized Druid cluster using Imply Manager. Um, uh, so I would highly recommend to take a look at it if you are in 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 the journey of deploying Druid in a Kubernetes cluster. So let's talk about some of uh, the best practices that we leverage as part of uh, deploying Druid in a Kubernetes cluster. Uh, we recommend using stateful sets for your data uh, servers. The data servers are the one that the historical nodes running inside the data servers are the one um, that are loading the segments in its local disk and then serving up queries from that segments. So it's better to use stateful sets if a part goes down and it comes back again, you would still have that data in its local disk that's been attached to it. Um, leverage deployment uh, for queries and masters. So you could have um, the scale sets, um, uh, the replica sets uh, configured for you, uh, depending on uh, the number of queries and number of masters that you would need. So leverage your secrets for all your trust stores and key stores that, that you wanna use so that uh, the cluster could be encrypted, the internal cluster communications could be encrypted. Um, and, 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 and Druid, we have to make sure that, uh, especially when deploying in Kubernetes, one thing we don't want is we don't want two master pods running the same virtual machine of your Kubernetes cluster. Or, or, or in case of historical nodes, you don't want two replica of the same uh, data source served by two different pods that are running in the same virtual machine of a Kubernetes cluster. So for that leverage, labels and chains and affinities so that you can use, um, you, you could schedule the pods appropriately in such a way that there's only one master pods running in one of the virtual machine uh, of your, or one of the physical machine of your Kubernetes cluster. Um, use a load balancer service to expose the query nodes and then and, and use cluster IP for other things that for internal cluster communications, but use load balancers for exposing the query nodes, which is the router ports. Uh, in this case. Uh, 